Good morning, everybody. This is It's a Dill Cherry coming at you with a quick Walmart um, grocery pickup haul. Uh, had to run. You know, I'm so mad, you guys. Um, I went last week. I ordered groceries because I needed butter. And so I go and pick it up, and it didn't say that they were out or substitute anything. So I get home. I didn't have my butter. So I called them. They took it off my grocery list. Now, that was the whole point. I needed butter. So this week I order but butter and they say they're completely out, like completely. Like usually they'll substitute with a different butter, whether it's unsalted, double pack, whatever. They will substitute you. Like they did it with me for a couple of things I'm going to show you. Um, when I get to them, I'll show you. But I'm so mad because once again, I don't have any, but well, I have a little bit of butter and I've been like really rationing it. So, not that I really need butter, but, um, you know, that's kind of like, because I'm not using really any salt any of, in any of my seasoning or whatever, um, I'm using butter as a seasoning because it has a little bit of the salt in there. So, anyway, I'm bummed about that, but, um, again, I'm just being lazy because I live right across the street from a 99 cent store, um, so, yeah, I'm being lazy, and, um, yeah, I might have to get my feet going and get on down to, I mean, I walk farther at lunchtime on break than I do where the 99 cent store is. It's literally at the end of the block. So anyway, yeah, looks like I'll be going over there. I was going to go this morning, but they're not open yet. They open at eight. And this morning I was able to do the high risk pickup between seven and eight. So I was happy about that. So anyway, I was able to go pick up my groceries. I had no other option because um, the all the nine o'clock spots were taken, and then they for some reason they didn't wasn't showing an eight to nine spot. So it is what it is. So let me get this haul was a little bigger than any other because. Um, when I went and got gas this morning, you know, because the surge is going up and they got a new strain out that's supposed to be spread faster. And, you know, it's just like it seems like it's taking forever to get a vaccine. And now they're saying they don't know if the vaccine is going to even cover um, this new strain. And yeah, it's just too much. <laughs> Sandra said, I'm about to bunker in. <laughs> I'm about to hunker down in here like I'm in a war bunker. <laughs> But anyway, so I got extra groceries. So um, anyway, you guys, I'm so sleepy because I got up so early to go. I hadn't had my coffee yet. My coffee's here. You guys like my mug? I bought this a long time ago at Dollar Tree. It was during Thanksgiving. But I like it because it also looks summery to me with the bike and the leaves. Um, yeah, the leaves are there, but it still looks summery to me. So I said, and it says blessed. So I'm going to go ahead and use that now. So anyway, you guys, of course, I got my favorite low-carb tortillas. These things are so good. Um, as I mentioned before, they're 50 calories, and they are carb carbohydrates, 16 grams. However, dietary fiber is 11, meaning one tortilla is 5 grams of carbs, which is outstanding. I bought two of these. There's so many things you guys can do to this. You guys can... Um, you know, we can make pizzas. Um, I typically use them for uh, lettuce wraps. I mean, not lettuce wraps, like spinach wraps. I put spinach, avocado. Sometimes I'll make uh, scrambled egg whites with my little Parmesan cheese in it. That's another thing that I season up my eggs with and wrap it in one of these. They're so good, you guys. So they're low-carb tortillas. Also, I got my sweeteners that I put in my coffee. <clears throat> By the way, you guys, I had to come down and spray and wipe down. Some stuff got wiped. Some stuff got sprayed with alcohol. Um, yeah, I started started doing that again because um, of this new strain. They said it's supposed to spread easier. So, um, eggs. I got an 18 count of eggs. Um, I think I have one more left in there, too. So, I really needed eggs. Surprised eggs were there. But you guys, I try to go to Walmart. My it keep keeps going blue. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, no, I try to go to Target to order eggs, and you know, you put in your little substitutions. And so, what I like about Walmart is you put your your item in. If they don't have that, 
they actually will give you a bigger pack, whatever, if they don't have the size you want and charge you the same. Walmart makes you do backups, like, um, if we don't have that, then, you know, have to pick out whatever you want. So, Walmart will automatically do it, email you, and then say if you don't like it, um, you know, you have an option of canceling it. Um, but if they have a very similar item, and that item could include more items, um, then they'll give you the higher item, the higher count for the same price. So that's what I like about Walmart. Um, I got uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. These are so convenient and easy to cook, easy to prepare. Um, they're, what do you call it, pre-frozen, like they're individually frozen pieces. So it makes it easier because I live here by myself. Um, and sometimes I'll go and season about three pieces and have that for a couple of days, lunch and dinner, along with vegetables. I need to stock up on vegetables, too. But, yeah, you know, that that's a good thing to buy. Those, and then I also buy the um, fish, uh, tilapia fish that are in the individually packed, um, you know, portions. Cat food, of course, got to have that. Miley will not be happy if she doesn't eat fat cat. Um, I bought two of these, ground turkey, right out of all my ground turkey, I had ground chicken that I used the other day, um, and I try to stock up on stuff like this, I don't even know how I ran out, but anyway, so I bought two of those, and they're just a turkey, 93% lean, fat, ground turkey, and also, I think I got two more in there, but I bought avocados. Can't get enough avocados. I love avocados, you guys. It was funny because when I was younger, I hated avocados. I could not stand avocados. Now I love them. And running out of this, I bought creamer for coffee. Very good to have. This, I also use my, um, I make my homemade hot cocoa with it. <laughs> I use, um, I use hot co or cocoa mix, that, and Splenda. And then I bought this, um, I love peanut butter. Anything that's peanut butter or tastes like Reese's, anything like that. And so I bought this um, dry peanut butter, and I scoop a little bit of that and put it in the hot cocoa. It's so good. And then I bought heavy whipping cream. Again, I bought the big one. They didn't have the small, wait, I bought... The small one, they didn't have the small one, they gave me a big one again. I don't know why they're not, this is the second time I ordered a small one, they didn't have the small, they only had the big. But that's one, what I'm telling you, um, they didn't charge me more, they just gave me the bigger one and charged me the same. So that's what I was saying, Walmart does that, uh, Target's like, no, if we don't have that, you choose another option, blah, blah, blah. Um, I bought some more of the almond flour, this is so good you guys I have been making um, I have been making um, what you call it waffles uh, almond waffles I'm um, what is it pumpkin waffles out of almond flour oh my gosh you guys it's so good so good and I bought three of these yogurt bars Greek yogurt bars I'm about to have one of these in a minute they're so good but I bought three of them and uh oh Ooh, sorry then you guys, I I have still some left in there, but because I know that we'll be, you know, I'm trying to avoid going to the store. Pretty much stocked up on, on got a big one, uh, so that I don't have to worry about that. Running out of space here. And also, I got some antacids, you guys. I don't know, I've just been real stomach's been acting up lately. <laughs> So I got some ant some antacid. I was gonna get Tums, but I said, you know what? I remember my mom used to get the little cheap Equate ones, and they work the same, and they're so much cheaper. And of course, as you get older, you try to get in your fiber however you can. Um, being that I am doing a low carb, um, this one's ten carbs with uh, let's see, dietary fiber six. So it's four carbs. So I have to incorporate this into my daily carbs, but Metamucil. Um, I've never taken it before, but um, wow, the screen really turns blue when I hold up orange. 
um, but it's four in one fiber and it's for, um, you know, just to get you cleaned out. <laughs> and so I figure being on the, oh, how much? Oh, this is a sugar free one. Good. Um, being on, on the low carb diet, that can make you backed up. <laughs> it doesn't really too much, but lately a little bit more than it. Anyway, that's TMI. Anyway, so I got that. <laughs> And then the last thing I bought, um, I ordered small bags. They didn't have any small bags, so of course they gave me the big one, which is fine. As long as it's resealable, that's fine. And so I got that. And so that is it, you guys. That is it, and that's it. It's just a small haul. I mean, I mean, it's bigger than usual, but it's still small. And then they had two things. Like I said, they didn't have butter, and there was another thing they can't. Oh, I tried to get walnuts and. Um, and they didn't have it. Uh, so there were two completely canceled items, which was the walnuts and the butter. But anyway, you guys, it is Martin Luther King Day. Happy Martin Luther King birthday. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I got up this morning, went to the gas station, you know, got my little gas because I don't want to go in with a lot of people. There seemed to be a lot of people anyway, but I just kind of sat in the car until everybody came out. By the time I went in, there was nobody, nobody at the counter. But it's funny how when you, when I pulled up, I felt like so many people went in there and then, you know, I'm doing stuff in the car, I put my gloves on or whatever. And I looked up and I see a couple people walk out and I'm like, well, let me just go see. I'll just stand in the corner of the store. I go in, one lady walks out, nobody else was there. I'm like, where'd everybody go? I know I saw people go in, but, um, anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna probably, I did, oh, I sold, I don't know if you guys remember from my haul, did I show you guys the Anchor Hawking classes? Those sold last night, and, um, I was just stressed about how am I gonna wrap them, but I finally wrapped them up, um, thank you, Will, uh, <laughs> um, I always forget, Thrift Will's Adventures, I think it is Will's Adventures. Um, anyway, I see how he wraps his stuff, and I went ahead and copied him. And um, so, yeah, those were, I wrapped them pretty neat, pretty safe. Oh, Mom the E-Bear posted. I didn't know. Was she live? Yeah. She was live an hour ago. Dang, if I'd have known. Well, I wasn't home. But anyway, so, yeah, um. I, I, like I said, you know, when I learn, like I told my sister and my cousin, they want to start selling on Macari and Poshmark. I learn by looking at others. Um, and like I said, I looked at Will, Will uh, let me find his name. I, I never, I'm so bad at names. Will, I'm sorry. Um, Will's Thrift Adventure, I think. Will's Thrift, Will's Thrifting Adventures. I look at him, I look at, um, there's some other people that I follow, um, what is her name? I follow Nicole State, um, I follow Reclaim Treasures, not Reclaim Treasures, I'm sorry, I just watch her, but, um, you know, people that are resellers, I tend to, Nicole Northgate, um, there's a lot of others, but I learn by looking at people. I, I literally treat it like I'm going to school. Like I'll sit there and watch these videos and take notes, just like I'm going to school. Um, and I would get these things down just as well as like different things to find, to sell and learning about glass and stuff like that. You know, that's how I do it. And so I pick little things from different people. And so, yeah, I was able to wrap up those glasses very safe. And uh, we'll be shipping those off tomorrow. I got to get online and um, make arrangements for them to pick up. But um, yeah, so other than that, uh, I do want to go in there and try to. I'm, I'm taking some things off of my Poshmark, things that are probably. And see, every time I do that, every time I say, okay, I'm about to take this off, no one's liking it, whatever, bam, all of a sudden it sells. So I don't know. I'm thinking I'll take some things off, take better pictures, and then repost them on there. But anyway, my days, uh, I, I there's so many things to do. And a lot of times I sit here and just being lazy. There's so much to do, so much to do. 
And so um, I wanted to make a thrift, um, a Goodwill drop off, but they have signs everywhere saying when they're not open, you can't drop off because that's dumping, you know, like it's like dumping your trash unless they're open to receive things. So um, they don't like you to drop things off when they're not open. So I don't. Um, but I have to, you know, probably on Wednesday when the street sweepers come, um, uh, I will go and drop some stuff off. That's inauguration day too. <clears throat> I wanted to see it. But anyway, all right, you guys, I got to put these groceries away, but I hope you guys have a wonderful Martin Luther King day. Um, whatever you do, stay safe, stay mass and, uh, stay safe. Talk to you later. Bye.